Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the most. Um, I'm not the most tech savvy person here. I put a little filter on because it's been a long day. But hello, hi. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Nice Good. to meet you. I see. Um, I already see so many. So Tommy Lynch, the creator of Alex Mack, is in here somewhere. I see you. Yes. Noah, I just had lunch with him. Oh, look at all these sweet people. Okay, awesome. Let's do it, baby. Well, first of all, thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. And I've you seen I've been putting on Instagram for people to send in their questions, and of course we'll try and address once that come in. So one of the questions is, how did you audition for Alex Mack? I get this question all the time, and I see Tommy's still here, so <laughs> he can attest to this whole story. So. Basically, long story short, I um, I auditioned for. I hate this filter. Hold on, I gotta change this. Get this Sorry. off of Sorry. here. This is awful. Okay, better. Um, I auditioned for the part of Alex and went kind of far, and then I auditioned for the part of Annie and went kind of far, and then um. They shot the pilot and recast a little bit of the pilot. And then they brought me back for Alex again. Um, and I, I went pretty far and didn't get that. And then I got a call saying that they had like written me a part that was like for me. And I was like, okay, cool, easy. You know, I just got to show up and, and screen test. And, and then I showed up, um, we had this studio in Valencia, like first season. And I remember like, it was like the upstairs of it was all casting. And I walked in and there was like 50 other girls there for Robin. I was like, man, these assholes are really putting me through the ringer. But anyway, I, obviously I ended up getting that role. And when I got it, it was just like a three episode arc on the show. And by the end of the third episode, I, you know, was offered this, recurring regular role and then a couple seasons later they were stuck with me so then i was a regular awesome yeah tv show and movies uh had just asked if you have a favorite episode i you know i couldn't even tell you i have um i could not even tell you i don't even know i don't even remember some of the names of the episodes i i do know there was this one episode we did that was like a party and Alex and I get in a big fight. Uh, another good episode is where they make Robin do like all sorts of gym activities, like climbing ropes. I think it was called the Rooney Ru uh, runabout run around something. Like that. That's a classic one too. <laughs> and I did have a follower ask, and as you had just mentioned that you, the, the, the names all blend together. But they were wanting to know what it was like filming the Friendly Fire episode, which was the one where the Robin didn't win Alex Mack. Or is it? I'm so sorry. You broke out just, you broke up just a little bit. Uh, somebody was asking if you remember what it was like to film the episode Friendly Fire, which was the one where Robin moved in with Alex for a while. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the party one. Yes. Oh. Um, they got in a fight. That one I remember the most for some reason. Um, yeah, that was that was awesome. That was a fun that was a fun episode to shoot too, because um, a lot of us were really close on set. And I remember we went like back to my house after one of the days, and we had like a little pool party. Yeah, I loved that episode. I remember some of them when people when fans like send me clips or I see clips of the show, then I remember the episode. But it's it's we did so many that it's hard yeah, to remember. It, yeah, they go they go so fast that we do so many at a time that just blend together. Yeah. And after the first season, also we did like twenty eight a season or something like that. So there's there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And and you had just touched on it a little bit. <laughs> someone <laughs> said I'm someone saying there's a lot of feedback noise. Not sure if it's just my phone or our live. Could be okay. us, I don't know. 
could be I don't hear any back any feedback on your end, so anybody else please tell me if you if you hear something on our end. And I, 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 I wouldn't even know how to fix it is the scary thing. We might I might try to move to a different location, but I don't I Oh that that's actually a, I can hear you a lot better. Um oh. so yeah. Okay. In I'm going through all the filters right now. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. And you had just touched a little bit on it, but you said you and the cast had gotten along really well. Uh, how how well did the cast get along? Did you get along with some more than others? Did, was it just a whole group effort? Yeah, we really all got along. Um, really all like got along really well, which was really cool and rare and unique. And um, most of us are still really good friends to this day, which is crazy. I know. So, yeah. Let me see. I, I, took, I wrote down everybody's questions, so I'm looking through here nice. before, before I get you're away. Good, you're, good, you're a good promoter of this stuff, too. Thank I you. Was so, I was so impressed, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I'm and, really, really and, impressed with you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. As far as Alex Matt goes, how... Do you think you and Robin are alike? I think as I've gotten older, that's a great question, right? I think as I've gotten older, I understand Robin a lot more. I think at that age, um, I, ne I didn't understand her cynicism um, or realism, I guess, as much as I do now. Um, but I think think that um, I think I'm a little bit more optimistic and self-assured than Robin is, but there's definitely chunks of her that have like stayed with me my whole life for sure. Had in the event that there was ever a reboot and Robin comes back, what of arc do you see Robin having now as an adult? Mm. This has been talked about. Um, I've heard so many different theories on this, and each one is interesting as the next. But I think, like, I've heard that she's um, married to a woman and they have a bunch of adoptive children. I've heard she's, like, you know, the big tattoo artist of Paradise Valley, like the Cat Von D of Paradise Valley. Um, I've heard that, like, her and some of the other characters they all have the powers now and they're like fighting to save the world. I don't know. There's, um, there's a, I think if we could mix all of that into one, that would be so dope. Endless possibilities. Endless. Really? Uh, let me look through. Uh, yeah. Making sure I get all the Alex Mack questions before we move on to other topics. And I think, ah, uh, um, you uh, the fan page for uh, Alex Mack, they have also asked, how do you feel about the show Alex Mack becoming popular for generations? I love that. That's that's so meaningful to me. I love that like there's new generations now of fans of Alex Mack. Um, I, I, kind, I guess I really noticed that there was this one little girl that um, I'm friends with her on Facebook and I think on Instagram too where she just like loves Alex Mack. And that's where I was like, wow, this is really carrying on to, to, you know, downward generations, which is really crazy and special. And like, I don't think any of us had any idea when we first started the show that that, that, you know, what are we 27 years? I mean, I don't even want to say that out loud. That's so gross. Um, but this many decades later that this show is still so alive in people's hearts and so relevant still, um, we got really lucky with that. And, you know, I, I really attribute that to the tremendous creation of the show with Tommy Lynch and the writers and directors and just like how what special care they took of this show. They took really special care of this show. And I think that it's had lasting power because of that. Yes, I, I agree. Even though the, the style was very 90s, it has themes that aren't decade specific. I've got a right. seven-year-old boy now, and he 
he's very much his father. He he loves to watch the same things I watch. And I was binge watching all the episodes of Alex Mack, and he is and I would catch him going through the house pretending to melt and slide. Oh, that's great. That's so it's, special. Yeah, it's, that's it's really awesome cool. to see the new generations getting into it. Yeah, it's, that's really cool. So outside of Alex Mack, you had several guest appearances on several TV shows. Did you ever get that camaraderie that you had with Alex Mack on other casts of other shows? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the first show I ever did was called Billy, and we definitely had that for sure. Um, Babysitter's Club was one of my fondest memories growing up because it was just like they threw a bunch of kids together all around the same age, all go going through the same shit at the same time. And um, so definitely, and Freaky Friday, same thing, uh, Shadow Zone. So, yeah, I mean, yes. Yes, I definitely got that, but nothing quite like Alex Mack. Yeah. And of, because you did the Babysitter's Club movie. Yeah. Different is filming a TV show to movie. I mean, it's, 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 it's different. Um, it's definitely different because, you know, on a TV show, you, um, you have one week to do one episode. And on a film, you're doing it for anywhere from like one to three months. So the grind is a lot you know, um, it's just, it's a, it's a different experience. It's a totally different experience. Sure. Yeah. Let's see. Moving down my list. Do you think acting has an age range? Is no. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> um, do I think it has an age range? I think that young child actors potentially should be old enough to make their own decision on whether or not they would like to be in that life. Okay. Aside from that, no, I don't think they're... So, yeah, I guess 10, maybe 10. <laughs> what... I I'm assuming, since you were an old actor, was that something that you were interested in, and what interested you, interested you about it? In acting? Yes. I mean... My mom put me in acting when I was 18 months old. So by the time I was cognizant of even understanding what my life was, I didn't know anything different. But yeah. I didn't really, like, fall in love with it until I was in my teenage years. Okay. Yeah. And a bit of a random one, but a nice general question. What is your favorite movie? Ooh, I have a lot. Um... <laughs> I'll, I'll give you, like, my top five. Okay. Natural Born Killers. Sorry, it's not very Nickelodeon of me. Okay. Um, Dazed and Confused. Yes. Romeo and Juliet. The Boz Lerman one. <laughs> um, uh, Purple Rain. Oh, my wife loves Purple Rain. And Basketball Diaries. Nice. Yeah. So, two, two. DiCaprio ones in there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you could go back and cast yourself in any movie in any TV show, what would it be? Um, either Romeo and Juliet or my so-called life. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be cast as in Romeo and Juliet? Uh, Juliet, of course. Yeah. It's a given. You've got to. Yeah. Uh, if you could... Oop, I was about to reread the same question. Uh, if you could go and, and eat, this is a question I get asked to ask several on several times. What, if you were able to go back and give yourself a piece of advice, what would it be? A piece of advice? Hmm. got to stop and think on that one. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, there's so many things um i think the, probably the best piece of advice i could go back and give myself is that i i'm okay exactly as i am that's a good one you're perfect you're, you're 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 made perfect in god's creation and you don't need to torture yourself with thoughts of anything else yeah we we all could be reminded of that's, yeah that's, that's very good yeah 
if you were able to cast your own love interest in any movie, say Romeo and Juliet, who would it be? I'm going to plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> no. And did you have any, what were some of your favorite shows growing up as a kid? Um, so I loved 902 and 0. Um, I loved, loved Melrose Place, My Soul Called Life. Um, trying to think. Mm, I loved Saved by the Bell and California Dreams. <laughs> and uh, uh, there was this like random little soap opera called Swan's Crossing. I remember I loved that show. Um, I loved all that. I was a big all that fan. Um, yeah. To, to name a few. Okay, so go, going off of that one, if you were able to have a guest appearance on all that, which sketch would you want to be a part of? Ooh, I'm not like, I don't know. Well, I, That's like a loaded question for me because I don't think I'm a very good sketch actor or com comedian, um, really. I think that um, I get like so nervous in situations like that but I mean, I, I guess I'd have to just pick the most iconic one, which would be Good Burger. And somebody had asked this in a previous one, and I thought it was a very good question, so I had to bring it to this one. But when did you realize that Alex Mack was such a hit? Um, probably like second season, middle of second season, where it was starting to get hard to like go out and do things that I'd been doing for the past few years, like going to the mall with my friends or going to the movies. Um, or, you know, when I would just turn on the television and, um, you know, watch something on Nickelodeon and we were all over the screen. Um, yeah, I think that's when I realized people were like kind of always asking me for my autograph and stuff i was like okay i guess this thing took off you know did did that ever get old at any point or you just okay i love you give me some space no i mean i was a kid so you know the thrill of it all was i think when you're that age the innocence of it is you know a, a little different i also you know i'm from a time where you know we didn't have social media there was no TMZ. Um, the, the worst thing we had was like the National Enquirer. Um, so it was definitely like a more innocent time. Nice. Oh my, I, that's actually all the questions that I have and the ones that uh, I had received through the followers. If anybody, because we still have a few followers, so if any of you guys have any questions, feel free. Do you have any favorite memories from? Nickelodeon, Alex Mack, or any show that? Um, God, this is so long ago. It's like so hot. You know, I just, I remember all of it really well. And, you know, just like, I think mainly just the time that like I spent with Larissa and Darius and Jason and Alexis and Ben Smith, um, you know, we're, we're definitely some of my favorite memories um i loved like being a little bit older on the show like when i started i was really young i mean i make just, even just physically i make a pretty drastic um change if you like look at me in the first season and then in the last season it's like i look like an entirely different person so i loved being older on the show and um and kind of living like my my teenage youth youthful years you know doing that with the people that i loved so much so really all of it is such a fond memory for me so well i think that's all i have if anybody wants to follow you where can they follow you at so um you can follow me at natanya ross that's my instagram and my fan page on facebook is the same thing natanya ross spelled just like my name and yeah, that's that's where you can find me. Right. If you don't follow Natalia already, give her a follow. She's she's fantastic. She's often you post on Instagram. You know, ask me I anything. Do. I try and I try and stay as active as I can. 
And and as somebody who grew up with these kinds of things, I think it's really awesome to see somebody like you still being communicative with the band. So that's sure, awesome. of course. Yeah, it means as much to me as it means to you guys. Like honestly, it, it's you know, there's been many times where my fans have like gotten me through some stuff um, just with like a simple DM or a, a like or a comment on a picture. Um, so I think it's really important for us all to, you know, communicate and be there for each other. We're all on this earth. Be in it together. All, yeah, we're all in it together. That's right. All right. Well, again, thank you so much. And you yeah. have the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Okay. Bye. <laughs>